Deadly early morning on a subway in the Bronx. Four teenagers robbing a subway ride or a gunpoint on a northbound number two train. Cops busted three of them, but a fourth ran away and jumped on the tracks, and that's where he died. Talk about crime doesn't pay. I was reporter Marcus Solis live at the scene in the West Farm section. Marcus. And Bill, that suspect was pinned between two subway cars, and when he tried to free himself, actually came in contact with a third rail and was killed. Now, this all started with a 911 call about a robbery in place taking place on a train a stop south from here. The 180th Street station is across the street from Transit District 12, and so when the train pulled in here, police were waiting. No train service, West the station was off limits for hours as investigators collected evidence and processed the scene on the elevated tracks. The incident happened before dawn on a northbound number two train. Police were called around 5.30, alerted that a group of armed young males were robbing a 46-year-old man. Officers were waiting when the train pulled into the 180th Street station. According to police, three teenagers, a 16-year-old, a 17-year-old, and 18-year-old, were taken into custody. But a fourth tried to get away, running towards a stopped train on the middle track. At some point, the suspect slipped or tried to get down onto the tracks, but came into contact with the electrified third rail. He was pronounced dead at the scene. <laughs> Meantime, the busy station, which is a key transfer point for the number two and five lines, was out of service for the morning rush, finally reopening around 11.30. Now, police deployed a taser on one of the teenagers who was taken into custody. He was taken to the hospital in stable condition. Charges against those three teens are pending. The identity and the age of the suspect who was killed has not yet been released.